this is the Os. First lilac bullet to come to England. So yeah, basically he's a bit of a legend really. Let's go get my nephew now. He's gonna have a run on field with Dios. Do his uh, morning exercise. My name's Aaron Oliver. I'm a founder of Elite Bullies UK, home of the American Buller. Dios is a, a pocket buller, his top end pocket. We only exercise in like 10 minutes a day. No matter what you do with him, he'll still look like he's a fitness freak, basically. We got Dios in 2014. His temperament, for me, is the best temperament you could have in a dog. First lilac bullet to come to England in 2014. Basically, he's a bit of a legend, really. But most of all, he's my best friend. Right, boy. I first seen the dog breed, end of 2013. I'd say, mate, 2013, 2014 is when we started, like, proper with the American bullet. But by, back then, no one knew what the breed was. So, it's just grown over, over a, a number of years. The average price for American Bullet is like three and a half thousand upwards. It's not about the money, it's about the dog. So Dios' stud fee is a four thousand. He's, he's a well-known dog in the, in the UK and in Europe. Dios is my favourite dog. When I first saw Dios, I just didn't know it'd be this big. I was surprised how big he was. To be honest, when I got Dios, I used to look at him thinking, is this dog really going to grow like that? Obviously, the more I did the research and understood the breed, and then it wasn't until like people were seeing the dog and they were like, oh, what dog is this? What are you feeding it? I'm a huge fan of American bullies. I sometimes help feed them and take them on walks. All my dogs eat what a human would eat. So if I want to eat it, my dogs won't eat it. And I believe that you get out what you put into them. So that's why we always go to the supermarkets and eat. They'll, they'll have beef from the supermarkets. The only thing that they do get from the pet shop is bags of tripe, maybe once a month. That's, that's the only thing that they get pet-wise. And obviously the, the dry biscuit, but all the additives like the beef, chicken, stuff like that all comes from Tesco's or Asda, just a local supermarket, or the butchers, of course. I'd probably say about 80 quid a week, on a, a rough estimate. So we have, we have people messaging all the time for studs off of him, but I like to control the way we breed with him. So then you're not just getting loads of different dogs out there, you can control what you produce. Just by looking at the pups, you can tell that he's out of Dios. He's probably one of the best producing dogs in England. In the dog world, we call it cloning. So he's like, he's cloned very similar looking dogs to himself in his pups, what he's produced. This is a Dios son, 18 month old. As you can see, he's really short in the body. Um, we've got high expectations of him. He's going to be our next sub dog to follow on his dad's footsteps. The drive in this boy compared to Dios, the total two different characters. Basically, everything we wanted, we've achieved by getting him. The American Bully's got an amazing personality. For me, it's the ultimate companion breed of all dogs. Um, they just want to be loved, pampered and play. Basically, they want to be sat outside here 24 seven. They look vicious. People walk past and look at it and they think, oh, stay away from that dog. As you've seen today with Dios, he just wants to sit and be cuddled. We did receive a six digit offer for him and we just said no. We have had a number of offers from China and a man in Dubai offered to buy him. Yeah, the money's, the money's nice, but yeah, you've done your thing for me now. You'll get on a plane and go, I'm gonna enjoy the money. I couldn't do that to him, so it's priceless, basically. Imagining life without dogs would probably be nice and quiet and peaceful, but it's just never gonna happen. Everyone has their own pre preference of what they like as an American bully, so one person might like one American bully, that's their favorite. For me, the, the muscle of him, like the shape of him, there ain't another dog out there like the American bully.